Mmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this chicken's so good. Oh, so good. <laughs> mm, so good. Mmm. I've got something in my tooth. Me too. What should we do? I don't know. Hmm. Hello. Hello. We're at Gecko's. And we have a solution. Floss holders. What? A floss holder? What's that? This aid is beneficial for people of all ages. It is simple to use and also can come in different shapes and flavors for children. This oral hygiene aid, a dental flosser, can be used in the anterior and posterior regions of the mouth, as shown here. Floss holders are used to make flossing easier by removing plaque, biofilm, and food debris from either interproximal or primate spaces between the teeth. Mechanical removal of plaque and biofilm is important to do once a day, every day, to prevent the risk of early caries, also known as cavities. Advantages of this oral hygiene aid is that it's easy to hold, simple to use, small enough for children's hands and mouths, inexpensive, and quick to use to remove the plaque and biofilm from the interproximal areas. Disadvantages of this aid are that it cannot be used in orthodontic or fixed prosthetic appliances. This is a floss holder. It's a pretty nifty flossing device. This flossing device has a plastic handle and a small piece of dental floss in between. It's great for reaching those interproximal areas. All you have to do is hold it in between your teeth, do a little seesaw motion, and get right in there. Yep. You want to hug the left side of the tooth and then continue by hugging the right side of the other tooth. Doing a C-shaped motion in between each tooth. Pretty nifty! Ooh, floss holder? Yeah, I want to try that! Me too! Thank you! Thank you, Gecko! <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh, it's so good! I get in all spaces. Oh, so easy! Uh huh. Left, right. Ah. Uh huh. Ah. Oh, oh, good. Chicken. Hello, chicken. <laughs> See, I told you. You were right. It is, is so, so easy. easy a cave woman can do it. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Switching to floss holders can save you 15% or more of your gums or periodontal ligaments or your alveolar bone.